Hi, and welcome back to Allison's Walk. Today, for Faith Friday, I finally got out and did a little bit of hiking. Not a lot. We didn't go very far. I took my little one and we went up to the mountains and spent some time um, by a little mountain stream. I did a little painting and I just wanted to share with you uh, some of my thoughts <laughs> from this week. I've been struggling a bit with my own confidence lately. Summer kind of got me out of a lot of my regular routines and I haven't been hiking at all. And I've been thinking about painting but not actually getting my painting stuff out very much. So as I've been trying to get back into the routine, my kids have been in school for a full week now, I am feeling at times a bit discouraged. Struggling with getting things done and with just my own confidence. Um, Recently, I had someone say just some discouraging things to me that kind of got in my head and made me kind of question my own um, value as a, as a mom. And as I was thinking about preparing this Faith Friday video for you guys this week, I was just struck with how easy it can be to get in our own heads and to think that we are not worthy, we are not good enough, um, to just second guess everything. Oh, I'm not all done with mine. This watch, please. No, 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 no. You can paint on yours. Mommy's going to do this one. Last week I shared a few verses from Colossians, and um, Colossians chapter 1 verse 10 um, says to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, to please Him in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. And that's my goal, to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, to please Him in all respects. And sometimes it can be really hard and I can become discouraged that I'm not doing a good enough job in my Christian walk. Good job. There's some more red. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. But I do want to give thanks to God. Verse 12 says, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. It says, for he rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son. When you become discouraged and start questioning yourself, it can really feel like a dark time. <laughs> but I don't have to be in darkness. God rescued me from the domain of darkness and transferred me to the kingdom of his beloved son. 
because of Jesus, I can walk in light and it doesn't rely on me, on how good I am, how worthy I am. My worth is found in Jesus. He is the light. It is through Jesus that we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created, both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Just want to kind of really focus on that idea of Jesus. Jesus is the creator. It is through him that all things were created. But he also is the sustainer. It is through Jesus that all things are created, and he is the one who holds everything together. And that is true not just for creation, but also for me. Jesus created me. Jesus created me as a unique, talented individual. My value is not in what I have done, but in who he created me to be. And he created me to be his. He rescued me from darkness and from sin. And it is through him that I have life. It's only through Jesus that I can walk in light. And he is the one who holds all things together. And that includes me. When I feel discouraged, when I feel like things are falling apart around me, when I can't keep my house clean or keep up with the many things that I have to do, Jesus is there. He hasn't left me. And with his help, I can continue to walk in light. I know that I have worth in him. I know that he is continuing to work in my life. And it's through him that I have the victory. So I don't know if you're feeling discouraged or overwhelmed, but I know that I was this week. And... I need to hold on to these truths that my worth is in Christ, that he created me, he loves me, and he is continuing to work in my life. So in our Christian walk, let us remember to walk in love, walk in light, and walk in wisdom. And that none of that is in our own power, but Christ working in us. This little sketch that I did in the mountains, I have been thinking so much about painting water. I took a bunch of pictures of waterfalls over summer and I've hiked up here a couple of times with my kids, but not had time to really sit and try to paint. And so I was so excited to paint water. And then I ended up kind of focusing this little sketch on the trees and just kind of how the light came through. Because I honestly don't know how to paint water with watercolors. <laughs> Um, it's something that I am trying to learn and will continue to push myself in, but 
I really didn't know how to do the water. I'm still so happy that I took the time to come up here and do this little sketch. But it definitely has reminded me that I still have a lot to learn, and that's okay. I'm excited to share my art with you and to share this process of me learning. I don't have it all figured out, but if you're interested in following along with me, I try to share a video at least once a week on Fridays with a little bit of encouragement from God's Word and something that I have painted, hopefully, out in God's creation. So if that sounds interesting to you, if you want to follow along, please subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks.